What's good, y'all? It's your boy Chosen One with two guns, repping that EMZ Bitch TV. You got Billy Porter, 2019 motherfucking Oscars, bro. This man, a grown ass man, goes to the Oscars in what it looks like a motherfucking black wedding dress, man. A female wedding dress. That's what the fuck it look like, man. This shit crazy. This man gonna broke the motherfucking internet, bro. Everybody's talking about that shit. That motherfucking dress. That dress. So, out of everybody that's talking about the dress, out of everybody that's talking about the dress, oh, look at my brother pulling up. What's good, bro, bro? That's why I love recording. You may never know who pulled up. So, out of everybody talking about Billy Porter, I catch a clip of uh, of Judge Joe Brown. If y'all know Judge Joe Brown, he's a famous judge that's on TV. Actually has his own TV show, being a judge. You feel me? Yeah, he's cool, though. He's a cool judge. I like him. I used to watch his show back in the day. I don't know if he still got new shows, but but you can find him. It's, it's Judge Joe Brown, Court TV and shit. So anyway, so what's good, bro, bro? Yeah, I'm with Streets, man. My brother Streets in here. Say, what's up, Streets? What up, yo? Yo, Streets, bro. I was just talking to the people about that guy, Billy Porter, bro. What the fuck is Billy Porter? Yeah, that's what I said, right? But Billy Porter is this guy that went to the motherfucking Oscars wearing a fucking black, from what it looks like, a black female wedding dress. Did you see that guy? Bro, what are your thoughts about that, Streets? I feel like that the industry is trying to do that because they want um, a lot of niggas to turn homeless. Mm. So they purposely. Oh, you heard that? You heard what Street said? The industry is ma- is letting people do that purposely because what? Streets? To turn niggas homos. To turn motherfuckers homos. Yeah. No disrespect to nobody. No disrespect. No disrespect to, to you know, to gay, but we're just saying what it looks like the industry is doing. It's I turning mean, mother- what they actually do. Well, what, what they actually do. You can't turn on the show right now without seeing some. Yeah, that's true. You can't turn on the show. You can't turn on the TV right now without seeing some type of gay and, shit. And men just some drink. gay, some gay activity type and, shit. And that and ain't even real gay men. It and it's not even men. gay men. It'd, It'd be, be straight, straight men. men. That's the that's fuck. pretending to be gay. That's in the In order problem. to get the gay community on their side. You're hearing it. Basically, ripping off the gay community. Ripping off the gay community. Because they're actually straight. And straight. They're doing that shit. Straight niggas doing gay activities for clout. And it's fucking up our culture. It's fucking up our whole race, yeah. basically. What's you break it down. Is, what's that nigga? Uh, it was a Mackay. What's that guy that look like Mackay Pfeiffer? Stay Goodens or whatever his name is? I think so. He was wearing a dress. Young Jock was wearing a dress. And none of these men are transvestites. So when you think about it, they're just ripping off the gay community. Mm. Yo, so like I was saying, Streets, before I, before I ran into you, so I was just talking about Judge Joe Brown because he, he he spoke about this. Judge Joe Brown said basically the same thing kind of what you said. Judge Joe Brown said that basically like uh, the guy is like he he's basically doing he's doing too much for this industry. You know, the higher power. Basically, I'm gonna just say it straight up. Joe, uh, Joe Brown was basically saying that the white people that are up on there and, and, and you know, up on top is, is, is letting shit like that go down to humiliate us. You feel me? To humiliate blacks so. and Hispanics. I feel so. You feel me? Because when you look at that, this is a show. show. Like, this is a show for them. This is entertaining when in you, a bad way, though. When you look at the guys that's really get, getting, like, convinced to do all this gay stuff, they're black. Mm. Ain't no white guys getting convinced to wear dresses. Ain't mm. no white guys over here gay in the shows. No. It's always like a black guy. No. Or, or a Hispanic transvestite. Right. You feel me? It's never really a white guy. Never. Ever really. Unless you watch RuPaul's sh- in that. Right? So, Who, does RuPaul even still have a fucking show? Yeah, RuPaul got a couple do, shows. Right? Yeah, RuPaul, yeah, they be RuPaul having a show. Right? But That's yeah, crazy. and they never show no white gay guy. They show every other race as gay, as transvestites. And the thing is, what these people don't understand, some of these people are getting more power to them. Mm. But the ones that aren't, they're doing it for clout. Mm. Young Jock is not a homosexual and he's wearing dresses. He's not a transvestite. Yo, did you see that hairstyle he did? He, that shit ain't work. That, that, that straight with the blue shit? Yeah. Yo, that shit ain't work. 
that's just that create controversy. So that was controversy. Yeah, so that to was try to get the gay people to follow him, but mm-hmm. you know, like that that joke is foul. And then you got Terry Crews over here talk about toxic toxic masculinity. Toxic masculinity. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Yeah, that basically yeah, saying yeah, that. When you act aggressive in in a manly way. Toxic. What is it? Say that one more time. Toxic Street. masculinity. Toxic mas mans masculinity. That means when you act like. That's crazy. Like a I man, but in a bad way. It's toxic. Wow. Let's say if you a man that's very manly, then they saying that that's bad now. Wow. Because a lot of women was was bad stuff was happening to them. But what they're not saying is mm. that same toxic masculinity. It's the same type of niggas that will go out there and beat up these these guys that try to rape these women. Mm. They won't talk to them like, hey, what are you doing? Okay. You shouldn't do that. Okay. Or or do something like that. They will beat these guys up. Uh. I just seen the video where some guy just tried to touch some lady in the hallway. What? And guess what happened? They chased them down. They chased they them down. They stopped them. They put them down. Uh. That's toxic masculinity. You know what one uh. dude did? He rolled up. Uh. He's like, he's with, he's with any of y'all? He's with any of y'all? And he was uh. like, nah. He was like, he ain't with us. He was just trying to touch a girl. What? And he was like, oh, word. Oh, you you getting that body work. And started giving them body work. Oh. And he was like, anytime you come around this neighborhood, you getting, you're getting body, body work. work. Oh, you're getting see? body work. Consequences. Guess what happens? That what? dude is not coming around that neighborhood. He's not going to be touching on women or, or trying yeah. to rape them. Yeah. Now, if you over here talk to the dude, you can't do that. Oh, this and that. Guess what? He's going to come back he's next come week. Back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Terry Crews, he the only male inside the Me Too movement. The only male inside the Me Too movement. The only male. Word from the streets, nigga. Michael J. White said mm. that he would have killed the man who tried to do that shit to him. He Look said nobody would even try that joke. That's what that man said. He said he would have killed the man for man. doing that shit, he for grabbing his balls, He bigs, up, balls, he bigs up Terry Crews because Terry Crews... Did a lot of work to get his career where it's at. Word. But he said if it was him, he wouldn't have cared. Yeah, he said if it was him, he wouldn't have cared. He would have killed manly. that man. He said the instant manly manhood in him would have been to protect yourself as a man no matter what situation you're and in. And he said he got kids and everything. And he you said, got but kids he, guess and what? All. He would have told them from jail that he ain't on that, that pussy shit. Ain't not. Nah, would you know what story that would have been to tell your kids? Like, yeah, I went to jail for that though, but I ain't let no man grab my balls, nigga. I ain't let no man take take advantage of me, and I was making want. money, and I, and I was about to get a contract, and I threw all that shit away when that man grabbed my balls, bro. I could have easily turned the other cheek, bro. But Terry nah, Cruz man, you were mad before man anything. He was talking shit about Terry Cruz, you should have grabbed him by the throat one time, then that's it. He Maybe smack ready. him one he time, He was ready bro. to beat up D.O. Hughley, right? He was ready to fuck D.O. Hughley up when he mentioned him. But the guy that grabbed his nuts, he wasn't ready to say nothing. He ain't, he ain't say nothing to that man. Wouldn't have beat up that guy so that man doesn't do that but to he, nobody else? But he want to get at the comedian, though. Get at the, some, the guy it, that told you you should have beat him up. And that's what Willie D was talking about. Shout out to Willie D too. Yeah, that's a smart out Willie man. D. Willie that's, smart yo, we fuck. fuck yo, Willie D. We, we fuck, fuck with, with you, dog. We from we well, fuck with Jersey. It's Jersey in here. We fuck with you, Willie D, for real. Willie D be knowing his thing. That nigga, what? Well, that that motherfucker is smart. Every time I see a nigga post something like some breaking news. Bro, I just go right to his shit. I love, I love him. He, he, the talk. Fir- he was one of the first dude that said that that, that that juicy guy, the Jesse guy, was lying. The who the the Jesse Smoke? Yeah, he was. Yeah, yo, Willie D was, like, was one of the first him. guys that did they that That's did Willie say D Jesse Smoke was lying. A lot of motherfuckers was like, nah, man, you know it happened, man. Uh-huh. You know he just it just happens because he was gay and he's a star. Nah, nigga, he set that shit up, bro. He really did, bro. Which is crazy. And R. Kelly bailed out. Yeah, I spoke about that on the post. Yeah, R. Kelly bailed out and Millie. Right before he even bailed out, all his female fans was, was trying to raise bail for him. But anyway, not to get off this topic because it's about Billy Porter. But about Billy Porter, you're doing too much. I know you Billy already Porter did it. You much. broke the internet. But I did I did say one thing, though, Street. Before I got on this post, before I got on this camera, I, did, I wanted to find out one thing, though. And that was if this guy was gay or not. Because I don't know who he okay. was. If he's gay, it's okay. I ain't know who he was. If he's gay, man, it's okay. Come to find out, he is gay. So oh, now, okay. It okay. makes it kind of, okay. but so still. It's kind of, 
It's kind of all right. But it's still humiliating, people are saying, to the blacks because that guy is black. So the black community is saying yeah, that it's humiliating he, because he you're, you know you're making, you're, you're like you're like a dancing, like Judge Joe Brown said that he's like a dancing basically monkey, he said, I think, to in front of these dancing white guys. Yeah. Because the Oscars is the white, that's all he's white. So he said that you're looking, you're putting up a show for the white man, you ain't have to do that shit on the Oscars. That's what basically uh, Joe Brown was saying. Like, he had to go all that out. But I think he could have just done something out like, okay, you could be gay, but come on, wearing a whole wedding dress on the if, Oscars. If Are you, you supposed to be taking up if, for your culture and shit for gay, being on the Oscars? If you gay, right? You want to go on the Oscars doing that type if, of shit. That's what you, you want to show right? we about, basically. If you gay, right? Not every gay man is out here wearing dresses. That's not every gay man wearing and dresses. And he don't wear bro. dresses. And he don't wear so dresses. So now right? what you're really on. doing, you're making fun of two communities. You're making fun of the black community. You're making fun of the, and that's the, why the, people the, upset. the gay community. And that's why people say. That, you know they make making fun of the gay community too Because now you're trying to say that any gay dude Is going to wear a dress And there's some gay dudes out there that will never wear a dress Yo, I seen that when I was in Florida I seen I seen some gay dudes out there you know, Wearing shit nicer than some niggas I see out here in Jersey And and, and the niggas I'm talking about These niggas had a big ass 4-5 on them Because yeah. some guy was trying to play him out Because he heard him talking all gay, right? So the guy was like, man, get your gay ass out of here Yo, that nigga, well, what? He was like, this what? You know how they be acting? Uh -huh. Yo, he ran to his car, he pulled out a big ass four fifth, bro. Yeah, he he really ass. did. Like true story in Orlando, yeah. Florida. Yo, this gay guy ran to the car, pulled out a big ass four fifth, and that same guy that was called him a bitch that night because he heard his his softer than his voice. Cause you know how people are. They they take they take your kindness for weeding it. They 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 do that type of shit, whatever. Yo, this motherfucker, bro, when he pulled that shit out, and he had a gang of other gay niggas with him too, like an entourage and shit. And they all was hard, nigga. I was like, look at these, a bunch of hard gay niggas rolling out there. Man. I just remembered that story, so, yo. That, True story. What he too. did was kind of disrespectful to the gay people because I don't feel like, I never seen that man wear a dress before. No, nah, I mean, I did a little research on him, like as far as being gay, and it, I didn't see this guy doing all that. No extra dress, shit, bro. so he wore yeah, that, for Joe Brown was right, Joe Brown was right. You just looking like, like, like he said, you dancing, like you might as well be dancing in front of these niggas, entertaining these white people. The Oscars is all white. You might as well be singing and dancing to For keep entertaining. Man. You couldn't just go on there and represent your culture, basically, as being a black person, a black man. You couldn't just go up there, take that award or whatever. He ain't getting no award or whatever, but it's just the appearance of showing up like that. That's what he, basically he's saying. Like that's the painting. That's the picture man. you're painting. You and feel as a me? a black gay man, he, this guy just really wore a dress. Yeah. Like when you're not even a transvestite or, or nah, a drag yeah, queen. Yeah, you're not even a drag queen, and you wearing a whole wedding that, that, dress. That make it seem like any dude, any gay dude out here will turn, will dress like a woman when some of them won't, mm -hmm. which is which is very disrespectful. That's very disrespectful. Very, very. But yeah, man. So Billy Porter, bro. I don't know, man. I mean, you broke the internet. You, I guess you got what you wanted. You feel me? You but are, you are, you are uh, homosexual. So I guess. And people can't really say too much about the whole dress situation. But as far as wearing a wedding dress like that, like that was kind of too loud, you feel me? Even as for being a gay guy, because like, like Street said, there's a lot of gay guys that don't dress as a woman. And especially him, as far as him, I don't never dress, seen this like, guy oh, wearing no dress. And I was looking yeah. at a whole bunch of pictures on Google that pull up pictures, images, just to see if he's usually normally wearing dresses. No. But anyway, we going, man. Streets. You already know, always a pleasure, man. Yeah, man. You already.